Adding companies. One of the first things that you want to set up in IntelliBid are your companies. You want to set up your own company, as well as the companies that you work with. From the main IntelliBid window, go to the left sidebar and select the Companies Contact drop-down option. In the New Companies module that appears to the right, you will see a default company name in the ID column, with the name highlighted in blue. This is the area where you would see your list of company contacts after you've entered them into your IntelliBid database. In the next module located further down the screen, you can enter your company's information. Here you can enter the company ID, which can simply be your company name. Then you can enter your company name, which will be the same as the company ID in this case. Then you will want to enter the company address info. You will also want to enter the company email address and website address. Over to the right side of this module, you can select a company type. Your company is considered to be a competitor in IntelliBid. This is correct, and how the system will recognize your company. Another thing to note is that every company that you enter into IntelliBid requires at least one company contact. Contacts would include the main user of IntelliBid, project managers, other estimators, or whoever else that would be relevant. You can enter contacts by clicking the Contact tab in the lower module. In this case, our trainer, Sherilyn, has already entered her contact information. To add a new contact, just click the Add button located on the right side of the module. After clicking the Add button, you'll receive a prompt to enter the contact's first name and last name. Once you've done that, click OK. Next, you can add the contact's job title. If you want to add another contact, click the Add button again. You'll be prompted to enter their first name and last name again. Please keep in mind that IntelliBid requires you to enter some type of value into each field. If you don't know the person's last name but still want to enter the contact, you can type a placeholder character into the respective field, like a period. Then you can add the person's job title. You'll generally want to add any of your company contacts that will be using the IntelliBid system. The next type of company that you would want to add are your vendors or supply houses. Go to the toolbar located in the top IntelliBid module and click the New Company button marked with a yellow plus symbol. IntelliBid will prompt you to add a company. You enter the company ID and the company name as before. For this new company, Standard Supply, we'll need to add a company type in the same way as we did earlier. In this case, we are imagining that Standard Supply is providing quotes for fixtures and gear, so we'll mark them as a quote vendor. But they also provide pricing for our pipe and other materials, so we'll also mark them as a material vendor as well. Companies can generally be more than one company type. Whenever you select the material vendor option from the company type checklist, a pop-up window will appear asking you to select a column for the item materials to appear in. You never want to override the target column, so in this case, we'll just choose our Vendor 3 column and then click OK. Now, remember, whenever you add a new company, you must enter company contacts. It is the same process as we showed you before. Click the Contacts tab in the lower module and then move over to the right and click the Add button next to the Contacts field. Enter the contact's first name and last name and then click OK. We can then add the contact's job title. I continue in this way to add the other suppliers, vendors, or contractors. For example, maybe I want to add one of the contractors that I bid to regularly. To do that, I click back over to the General tab in the lower module. In the top module, click New Company. Enter the company ID and name. Keep in mind that the company ID can be different from the company name. We'll name both as Burns Construction. Then we click OK. Next we choose the company type. Since Burns is a contractor, we'll choose Contractor and click OK. Again, for this company to work for us, 
we need to add a contact. We follow the same process as mentioned earlier. That covers the steps for adding companies and contacts. In the end, you'll want to add as much information about your company so that you can manage your work in IntelliBid in an easier and more efficient manner. Thanks for watching this Conest tip video. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more tips and to keep up to date with Conest software systems.